Well, hello, all my YouTube friends. Welcome back. Or if you are joining us for the first time, hi, my name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpus T and Sewing. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some upcoming sewing plans and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into some of the things that I have sewn last month. So if that is something that is interesting to you, stick around and I will share with you all of those things. Okay, everyone, so I am going to go ahead and get into the video and I'm going to share with you a few of the makes that I have made and uh, things that you can see coming on the channel here pretty soon. So some upcoming videos, I'm in the process of uh, making videos for a lot of these makes that I have made and makes that I am making. So you will be seeing pattern reviews of some of these makes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a sneak peek here and if you if you have seen my Wednesday video you probably already have seen the sneak peek of this Mayo Sodas dress and this is a dress pattern that is by Deer and Doe. I don't know if I'm saying that name right but I'll put the name here on the screen here and so you can see what that is and I'm gonna go ahead and also put the sneak peek of the image. So I made two uh, dress patterns, or I, I'm sorry, I made two dresses with this dress pattern. And this dress pattern that you're seeing right now is basically a loose fitting, uh, well, it's a semi loose fitting dress that has gathers on the waistline. You have, I think it's three buttons, three or four buttons that is on the bodice. You have a bust dart, a waist dart in the front, and then you have a, uh, a dart darting in the back. Uh, you have different sleeve variations. You have different skirt uh, variations. Uh, I'm going to give you the full review of this, but I just want to let you know what's coming up on the channel and give you a sneak peek of that particular dress. Now, like I said, I made two of these dresses and you're seeing just one of them, but you will get the full review here pretty soon. It's in a collaboration with someone and I'm going to give you all the details and let you know um, my thoughts about this particular pattern. The next pattern that I have sewn last month is the Simplicity S 9041. Now, this is a pattern review that is coming to you really soon. Um, it's going to be coming up this week because this was for a Fabric Mart uh, Fabrics collaboration that I did. And that particular uh, review is going to go live uh, this Wednesday. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to give you all the details of this pattern uh, and and show you the variation that I made with it. You'll get to see the print that I used. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And I'm excited to share that with you. I also made the Butterick B6814 top. I made uh, a mock-up for this, which is a, a wearable muslin. And then I also made another view uh, uh, I made um, for Fabric Mart. So you'll see the review of that as well next week. And I made a skirt to go with that top. And the skirt pattern I use is the Butterick B6749 skirt. So you'll see a review of that as well. So those are all of the things that I have made so far uh, for the month of September. And I haven't, I wasn't too busy, but uh, those are some things that I have made and I'm really excited about sharing with you uh, those particular makes. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm just very, very excited to give my reviews of those. So stay tuned for those particular reviews. Now I wanna get into the video and talk a little bit about my plans and uh, give you some ideas of what I want to do this week. I had a lot of plan, not this week, sorry, this month. Um, I had a lot of plans on my list uh, last month that just fell through. And uh, some of them fell through because uh, the fabrics that were sponsored to me just either didn't arrive um, in a time that I thought that they, they would arrive. And so I wasn't able to make certain things. And then also, um, some of the patterns just did not work out for me. I did mock-ups for certain patterns that I felt like just was not going to work for me. And so I kind of uh, shifted gears and I thought, okay, this month I'm going to uh, uh, pick some other 
uh, patterns and fabrics and things like that. And since it's fall, fall is my favorite time to sew. I absolutely love fall because I love the different types of uh, colors uh, that are uh, symbolized throughout this season as fall colors. Like, you know, your your um, burgundy type colors, your browns, uh, your orange type colors, you know, all those different type colors. I really love those colors. Uh, they just scream fall to me. And so anyway, I will be definitely sewing something with uh, the burgundy and white spotted fabric that I purchased from fabric.com. You all saw that in a uh, fabric haul here uh, about, I think a month ago or two months ago. I'm definitely going to be sewing something with that. And I thought about the McCall's, let's see here. I think it is 8872, I believe. It's a pattern that I definitely want to revisit. I'm sorry, it's the Simplicity S8872. And I'll pop a picture of that right here. It's definitely a pattern that I want to revisit. It's um, a pattern that is on my TNT list and I haven't made it in a couple years. I've already made three versions of it, but I definitely want to revisit that. And I'm thinking about uh, using either that fabric for it or um, a, a similar fabric here. I'll get all the fabrics and I'll show you the different fabrics that I'm planning on using this month and hopefully I'll be able to get to them. Okay, I am back and this is the fabric that I was referring to. So I definitely want to do something with this. And I'm thinking about that um, Simplicity S8872, like I said, or I'm thinking about a Butterick pattern that I had on my list last month that I did not get to. And that pattern is the Butterick B6763. So I really like the idea of making a dress with buttons that go down the center front that has like that flounce on the bottom or the, the gathering, the gathered ruffles. So I was thinking about doing something with, with that, but I also have on my list, I also have this uh, piece here, which is a piece that was sponsored to me by Minerva. Now this particular piece, it's really interesting because when I ordered this piece, um, I ordered three and uh, three quarters yards of this, but it came into two pieces. So I have one piece that is, I think it's like one and three eighths yards of fabric or something like that. And the other piece is two over two yards of fabric. So I have these two different pieces and it's really hard to kind of uh, work the two together and accomplish what I want to accomplish because they came into two separate pieces. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking about, like I said, doing that Butterick B6763 with this particular um, fabric right here. And this is a, a cotton ball, so I have to line it as well. So that's another thing that um, I have to consider with making that as well. I thought about doing a two piece. I thought about doing a skirt in the top, but since it's fall, I do want to uh, have a lining that would be adequate for the season. So that's some, some things that I'm thinking about. So that's why I haven't quite, uh, gotten a chance to, <laughs> to actually sew something with that yet, because I'm still thinking about what I want to do with that pattern and the fabric. So I also want to make something with this beautiful piece right here, which I think is another great piece for fall. And this is a mood fabrics piece. So this is not a sponsor piece. This is a piece that I actually purchased and I purchased two and a half yards of fabric for this one. And uh, it's a viscose jacquard fabric. You can see the little prints on there. It's such a beautiful fabric and I want to make something with the McCall's M8083. So I'll pop that there. And I want to make the shorter skirt. It's also a pattern that has buttons going down the center front. It has raglan sleeves. It also is a pattern that features a tie belt if you want to add a tie belt. Uh, it's, it's a really cute pattern. So I thought about doing that pattern as well, but I don't know. I'll have to give it some more thought. Next, I want to make the Simplicity S9385, which is a sweat uh, shirt top 
and I'll pop the image here. This is a pattern that just recently came out in Simplicity's latest collection and it's a fall pattern and so it's perfect for this particular season right now and I want to make something with that and I thought about making um, either a dress if I have enough fabric making a dress out of the top that has the really nice gathering on the sleeves or I would use the McCall's M7967. This is more of a fitted dress and it has um, the option of doing puff sleeves. So you have different variations of a sleeve. It even have a pattern in this particular envelope without sleeves as well. So I thought about doing that particular pattern, but I don't know. And then I also thought about doing the Adrienne blouse by the Friday Pattern Company with this particular piece as well. I've just been sitting on this piece for a couple of weeks now, um, just going back and forth, thinking about what I should make with this. This is a jersey knit fabric. Uh, it has um, quite a bit of drape to it because, you know, it is a jersey knit fabric. So it has quite a bit of drape. It's really, um, it's a nice nice fabric and I have one and a half yards of that so the yardage for sure um, that I have um, I am quite restricted to what I can make because I only have that one and a half yards of fabric uh, however I think I could squeeze a, a um, dress out of this if I'm real conservative about how I lay my pieces and things. So I'm thinking about a few things with that. So I don't have a ton on my list this month just because um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the sponsored pieces that I have. <laughs> um, I have another sponsored piece that uh, green and black polka dot fabric that I showed you guys uh, that I want to get my hands into. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that one yet. And then um, I have another piece coming as well. So I'll have to share those thoughts with you uh, about uh, what I'm going to be doing with those particular fabrics uh, when I have finished these projects here that I have on my list. Uh, but yeah, I have quite a bit that I have uh, going on right now. And I'm hoping to get these done uh, within the next two to three weeks. And uh, you will, as always, see the panel reviews for these and uh, see what they have come to look like once they are completed. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you today. All right, everyone, so that does it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this, the content of this channel and you enjoyed my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell because that will ensure that you get notified every time I post a video. So make sure you hit the bell. All right, everyone, I hope you all have a very happy and blessed sewing week. And until next time, stay creative. Bye.